back open this morning, but it was a dangerous weekend on the roads across Connecticut. We saw several very serious car crashes. Yeah, and in some certain circumstances, some of them were deadly. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Marcy Jones is now live with us in Windsor, right along the highway there with all the details. Marcy? Good morning. Well, in less than 24 hours, four people were killed on Connecticut roadways. Now, several police departments are working to try and figure out exactly how these crashes unfolded and hoping that this trend does not continue. Shortly before 6.30 Sunday morning, state police say a man from New Britain died on I-84 in West Hartford. Officers say the driver lost control of the car and crossed all lanes of traffic, then crashed into the concrete barrier. Just six hours later, two people were killed in a head-on collision in Tolland. State police say the fatal accident happened just before 1.30 in the afternoon on Route 195 near Rhodes Road. 66-year-old Amanda Bowen of Coventry and 64-year-old Brian Flynn of Ellington did not survive their injuries. The final fatal crash was in Wilkett, where a 39-year-old man died driving a motorcycle on County Road. Naugatuck police say they believe he collided head-on with a Jeep just after 4 o'clock Sunday afternoon. Nearly three hours later, another motorcyclist was involved in a crash with a tractor trailer. That biker is recovering in the hospital. All of this taking place just weeks before Memorial Day, which according to AAA, that weekend does kick off the 100 deadliest days for drivers on the roads. Reporting live in Windsor, Marcy Jones, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.